This is Twit. Yeah, hi, Leo. How are you? Well, I'm working now. I'm real busy. All right. What do you do? Uh, make cars. You make toilets? Oh, cars. C A R S. Oh, cars. <laughs> yeah. The, yeah, Warren. What what is the, what do you what kind of cars you make? Uh, Chevrolet Cruises. Oh, that's awesome. They're made in Warren, huh? Uh, Lordstown, which is just south of Warren. That's awesome. Well, uh, if you're on the uh, line right now, I don't want to interrupt anything. You might. I don't want to see a cruise pop out without a steering wheel or something. I'm trying to get my Bluetooth on. <laughs> Are you actually on the assembly line right now? You got it. <laughs> <laughs> well, what can I do? <laughs> what can I do? What parts are you putting in today? I'm uh, making doors. I got to run. Can you explain how to change your DNS on a Mac? I can. Go do the door. We don't want a cruise to pop off the assembly line missing a door because you were talking to the tech guy. So, keep... <laughs> uh, that's awesome. That's awesome. All right. Hold on. Let's see, Tom. So you want to change the DNS. So let me explain what DNS is. It's the domain name system. Every computer that goes on the Internet has to have access to a domain name server. It's basically the phone book for the Internet. When you enter in an address, usually you'll write an address in, in English, yahoo.com. But that's not the, the, the thing that you need any more than uh, Leo Laporte is the thing you need to telephone me. In order to telephone me, you need my phone number. In order to reach Yahoo.com or any other website, you need its IP address, its Internet Protocol address. All IP addresses look the same. You've seen them before. They're called sometimes a dotted quad because it's four numbers from 0 to 255 separated by periods. 192.168.1.1, that's one. So... Your computer, when it goes online, your browser, when it goes online, you're going to give it yahoo.com. It then has to go to a domain name server and say, what is the phone number? What's the IP address for yahoo.com? That's the DNS. DNS is configured on a Macintosh in the network settings. So when you, uh, when you are looking at your network settings, uh, you'll see it, it, hard, it looks like it's hard-coded in. DNS server, and it'll be a number. Usually that number is your internet service provider's DNS server. So if you're on Comcast or Time Warner, or DSL Extreme or AT&T, any of your internet service providers, they run DNS servers. The process actually is a little more complicated than that because first the browser queries the computer says, do you got anything in memory for yahoo.com? Because very often you've been there recently. So the computer can cache DNS addresses and say, oh, yeah, I know that address. If it's not there, it also asks the computer, do you have a file, a host's file, where that information is? If the computer says, no, no, you haven't been there recently and I don't have any other address, then the computer will query your router. Your router has information. And if the router doesn't know it, then it will query your Internet service provider. If the Internet service provider doesn't know it, it will query its Internet service provider all the way up to the 13 top-level domain name servers. There are 13 of them spread around the world. Those are the servers that maintain the, the copy, the original, I should say, of the phone book. And they, they propagate it out to the Internet service providers. But how do you change it? Because uh, if you look at the Internet settings, it's, it's grayed out. You know, obviously, it's that advanced button right there. You'll see a DNS tab. And you can add DNS servers. The default server will be your Internet service provider. But if you just press the plus button, you could put in your own. Uh, in fact, I recommend you do this, not so much on the computer, although you can. I, I like to do it on the router, um, and I like to use something called OpenDNS instead of my Internet Service Provider's DNS server, uh, partly because OpenDNS is faster, but also OpenDNS can allow me to do some things like block sites. I don't want my kids to see things like that. It's, a, it's also more secure in many cases than your Internet Service Provider. If you go to opendns.com, it's free. Uh, you can they, They'll tell you how to do this. They have little tutorials on how to modify your router and how to modify your Mac or your PC or anything else. But in all cases, it's, uh, it's in the uh, network settings. Remember, though, on the Mac, you have to change it for every interface. So if you have Wi-Fi plus Ethernet, you have to change it for each. Actually, that's a nice feature because it means you can use different DNS servers for different systems. That's why I change it in the router. If you change it in the router, it changes it uh, globally to the entire home network. 
Tom, I hope that helps. Those are good looking. I like those cruises. Wait a minute. Oh, don't don't miss that. Don't you got, don't get put that door on there. Okay. Nice job, Tom. Well done.